In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some default data in your community. And the reason you might want to do this is that, let's say you just installed BuddyBoss platform, you had a BuddyBoss theme, and you just want some data to be able to play with to see how everything looks while you work on your site. For example, some dummy groups, some dummy members, forums, activity feeds, things of that nature. And we've given you tools to make this incredibly easy to add default data into BuddyBoss platform. So as we can see, we have just one member, that's me. So let's go ahead and add some other members. I'm going to go in the back end and go into Buddy Boss Tools. And here we can see we can import some members. So let's go ahead and do that first. So 11 new members were imported. And here we go. There's 12 members. One was me and then there's the 11 additional ones. Let's click on a profile. All right, so we can see her profile has her first name, last name, and her nickname. The rest is pretty blank. So let's give her some profile data. So we'll go back to tools, default data and click profile fields. And now profile field entries were imported. So here we see some default data added. So where is this coming from? I'll show you. We go back here and go into profiles. And then in here, you can see we have a new profile field group added called default data, which has a bunch of sample fields in it. And then all the users have some dummy data added into this field. So we can go into any member and we have some dummy data added. All right, let's add some more information in here. So when we go back to tools, you'll notice that these are the only options we have. That's because at the moment I don't have very many components activated. So let me just activate everything. And now we can go back to tools and you'll see we have some additional options available. So we have activity posts, let me go do that. So when I come back here, if I view Charles, he has no timeline because activity was disabled before. I'm gonna import activity posts. And now we can go to his timeline and you can see he's posted some stuff. If we go to the site newsfeed, lots of fake posts from all our different members. All right, let's add some connections and private messages. So. These are there because we enabled the connections component and the messages component. All right, now we have some actual connection and message data. So let's go back to Charles. Now, none of this data is attached to my profile because I'll show you later when we erase this, it's gonna clear everything. So we don't wanna be erasing stuff from my profile. I'm gonna view as Charles. Now I'm kind of virtually logged in as Charles here. I can go to connections and we can see that Charles has a bunch of connections with other, other default data users. And I can also go to my inbox and see I have a bunch in my inbox. And here we can see there's a bunch of uh, fake data in my inbox, basically a bunch of messages between me and other default data users on the site. All right, so we're gonna add some more data, but I just want you to be aware of something. If I go back here and try to access something in the admin, it's gonna tell me I'm not allowed to access it. That's because I am currently logged in virtually as Charles and Charles is not an admin user. So I'm gonna click switch back to admin. All right, now I'm back as my admin user and I can access these menus again. All right, let's import some forums. All right, so three forums have been imported. Here they are, so we have a hidden forum, a private forum and a public forum, but they don't really have any content in them just yet. So let's go back and import discussions and replies. And by the way, we could have imported all these at the same time. We'll refresh. And then now if I go into the forum, we can see we have some sample discussions going on in it. And these different forums, the ones that we are giving you are to show you the different kinds of forums. There's a public forum visible to the public. So if I view that one, let's say in an incognito window, we can see that it's visible. Private forum and hidden. It's not gonna find it because it's private. So when you're logged out, it's like it doesn't exist. And then the hidden is only visible to admin or to members of that forum. So let me go back to members and log in as let's say Charles. So you can see Charles can't see the hidden one. So I'm going to switch back to admin. We're going to add some more data. 
All right, we're gonna add groups. I'm gonna add members and activity posts all in one swoop. Those were added. So let's go to groups. Now we have a bunch of dummy groups. Some are public, some are private. So we can go into a group and we can see that the group has members because I decided to give it members. And it has activity posts because we decided to give it that too. So if we go to the feed, it's got posts within the group from the members of that group. And then let's give the group forums also. So those forums I showed you before are standalone. Forums can also be attached to groups. All right, now when I go to groups, let's click one of these groups. We can see we have discussion forums in there and there's a forum attached to that group. All right, so this is pretty cool as you're getting set up you know, you can do this. I'm showing you step by step, but you could actually rapid fire, just do all this in a minute and have a bunch of default data. And then let's say after a while, you decide you want to remove all that default data. You can click clear default data and it's all gone. So now if I go to members, it's back to just one. If I go to forums, there's none. If I go to groups, there's none. If I go to newsfeed, it's just one for me from before. All the default ones we added were deleted. So 